Welcome to the Apple Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is 23 October 2024, and we have a fascinating lineup of stories for you. From shifts in Apple's design philosophy to new AI-powered tools and innovative apps, there's plenty to discuss. As always, links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Let's start with a look at Apple's evolving design landscape. Since Joni Ives' departure in 2019, many of his former design team members have also left the company. This includes notable figures like Evans Hankey and Tang Tan. While Alan Dai remains, his focus has shifted more towards software. Apple's design approach has seen a transformation, moving away from the ultra-thin products of Ives' era. The 2021 MacBook Pro redesign marked a return to more functional, bulkier designs. However, Recent products like the iPhone 15 Pro and M4 iPad Pro suggest a renewed interest in thinness and lightness, hinting at a possible revisitation of Ives' principles. Despite these changes, Ives' design ethos still resonates within Apple's product lineup, indicating that his legacy continues to influence the company's future direction. In the realm of AI, Apple is gearing up to launch its AI-powered image editing tools with Apple Intelligence. Craig Federighi, Apple's software chief, has expressed concerns about maintaining the authenticity of photographic content. The upcoming iOS 18.1 will feature cleanup, allowing users to remove unwanted objects from photos. However, unlike competitors, Apple's approach is more conservative, tagging edited images as modified with cleanup, and embedding metadata to indicate alterations. This aligns with industry efforts like Adobe's Content Authenticity Initiative, aiming to help users distinguish between genuine and manipulated images. Moving on to innovations in training, CAE has unveiled an immersive pilot training application for the Apple Vision Pro. This groundbreaking app, showcased at the NBA Ace 2024 in Las Vegas, utilizes spatial computing to enhance flight deck interactions. It offers various modes for training, including exploration mode, guided mode, and flight deck interaction mode. Emmanuel Levite, CAE's chief technology and product officer highlighted the app's potential to develop muscle memory and prepare pilots for full-flight simulator sessions. The app is adaptable for any aircraft type and is currently being tested with the Bombardier Global 7500 program, with a rollout planned for spring 2025. In regulatory news, the UK's Competition and Markets Authority, CMA, has launched an investigation into mobile browsers, browser engines, and cloud gaming services on mobile devices. The focus is on the dominance of Apple and Google in the mobile browser market. The CMA is examining whether Apple's requirement for iOS browsers to use its WebKit engine limits competition and innovation. The investigation will also explore the impact of agreements between Apple and Google on search revenue sharing. Potential remedies include removing restrictions on competing browser engines and ensuring equal access to functionality for rival browsers. The CMA is seeking feedback from stakeholders to address any adverse effects on competition. On the healthcare front, there's a proposal to integrate Apple HealthKit with the NHS app. This suggestion, submitted by a user named Darmesh, aims to enable a two-way sync of health data between HealthKit and healthcare providers. Although trials were conducted with two NHS trusts, there have been no updates since 2020. The proposal highlights the potential for improved patient-doctor communication through technology, and users are encouraged to upvote the suggestion to show support. Now, let's talk about some exciting new apps. Ranty.me is a productivity and reminder app designed to help users manage their tasks effectively. It features a voice note to task functionality allowing users to convert voice notes into tasks added directly to their Apple calendar. The app also offers intuitive task organization, due date reminders, and an AI-powered chat assistant for personalized task management. Additionally, it provides smart music recommendations through Ranty DJ to enhance focus while working. Lastly, we have Buno, a new mobile programming tool from Apparetto Luttered. This low-code development app allows users to create personalized applications quickly and easily. Buno features a built-in database and a rich API, supporting multiple languages including English, Japanese, and simplified Chinese. It's compatible with a range of Apple devices and aims to simplify app development for a broader audience. 
That's all for today's episode of the Apple Daily News. We hope you found these stories insightful and engaging. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Join us again tomorrow for more updates and insights from the world of Apple technology. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring.